a new week and a new blog. Uh, this week we are going over all the different types of diets that I've come across through the years while going on this hypothyroidism journey. Uh, when I first started it wasn't quite as overwhelming and as you can imagine now it's even more overwhelming. Uh, even within the quote diets that are good, uh, people will tell you if you have hypothyroidism, you can't eat, even eat certain vegetables. Well, that is just, for me, that's not going to work. I think I've never had a problem with any vegetables that I've eaten. Now, if I ate a whole bunch of one kind, yeah, that would be a problem. But that's not what I'm doing. I try to be as diverse as I can in everything that I eat on, on the vegetable spectrum. But um, when I first started, um, I just did a few simple things. And I've had people over the years ask me what did I do at the beginning and also been in different uh, Facebook groups I will see people ask this all the time when they first find out they have hypothyroidism is where do I even start with food because they know food they've been told food is a big factor uh, it is one factor and it, in the, you know you have more control over that one and we kind of have an idea of what to do so we really concentrate on that it seems a lot a lot of times but this week, I want to go over 10 that I have come across over the years. Some of them I have done. Some of them I have not done. Some of, some of them I looked at and I thought, there is no way I can do it. It's just too restrictive. It's too much work. Uh, it's not sustainable. That was my main thing. I had to find something that was sustainable. So um, I have made a guide, and I will put a link for you in the blog and in this description also where you can go and see the five simple things that I did when I first started out not knowing what to do. And they are very easy to do, they're very sustainable, and they're something that that give you a little bit of success so you can keep going forward to the next step. So I hope you're having a great week and I'll talk to you soon.